Welcome everyone, this is Bobby O from Bobby's Tech World and today I'm going to show you how to root your Moto G first edition or first generation however you want to call it and also get rid of that Petsky unlock bootloader symbol that you um, are seeing now because at this point we have an unlocked bootloader so this is one this right here pesky unlock the bootloader unlock symbol we're going to try our best to get rid of that alright now that we're back uh, at this point there's a few things you might want to get prepared for your phone before we go ahead <coughs> go ahead and root uh, first thing you definitely need to unlock your bootloader second thing you want a custom recovery on your phone third you're going to want to have some sort of file browser like ES File Explorer is what I like to use because in here you're going to want to know exactly we're going to be pushing super user to our phone using the Moto tool that I had previously uh, showed you in the uh, custom recovery video but what's going to happen is you can see exactly where the SD card where it's going to push the super user access here so we can retrieve it in our custom recovery so let's go back and also you want to install a root checker because when you click on it you want to be able to verify if you've got root access alright at that point let's go ahead and begin with connecting our phone to the computer alright we're plugged in and here we are okay from previous we have the moto tool right here the application I'll go ahead and put another link once again to this video to the form and to the link to get to retrieve this really cool application to help people who you know need to you know type in things out sometimes the command prompts can be a little um, deceiving and you know how you put things down but no big deal so we'll just double click on here alright boom there you go now before I begin doing anything I always want to check to make sure I have a connection so let's go ahead and check that right now. Alright, device is connected. I'm good to go. At this point, you should have all of your drivers installed and everything should be wide open. So if not, you need to go back and check the recovery video. And then I'll also go to the Motorola website and unlock your phone. At this point, if you look here, it says Push Super Su to SD. I'm going to go ahead and check that. Hit Do It. MR, are you sure? Yes. Alright, it says super suit pushed so on our phone here I'm going to go ahead and click on that I'm going to hit refresh there it is right there super suit so at this point now that we have it all pushed to our SD card we need to go into our custom recovery and flash it to do that I'm just going to go ahead and hit home here I'm going to bring this moto tool back up and then I'm going to hit reboot to recovery then hit reboot so this way you don't have to hold no funky buttons on your phone or do anything special and, and keep restarting your phone because um, it just doesn't it, you're not holding the buttons right or something like that so this right here it's going to show right up team win that's the custom recovery that I'm using at this moment so here we go alright so at this point we go to install we find out where we had it downloaded right here onto our SD card storage was internal super su zip you click it there and you swipe it and there you go reboot system and there we go we're back up. What I'm going to do now is go to my applications. If you look over here, you're going to see Super Sue. So that's awesome. That's 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 great. Now we're going to go over to Root Checker. Verify root. Oh, look at that! All right, Super User Request I'm going to grant it. Congratulations, you have root access that's just fantastic right there so now that you have that done you could do a lot of neat stuff you need to go back into file explorer and this is what I like to do 
Let's go over here. You slide down and where it says Root Explorer. I just turn that sucker on. There's a lot of things about this. This is a whole nother series of uh, videos, pretty much how to navigate through the ES File Explorer, but it's really great. I highly recommend using this one. And you can navigate, unlock folders that are on your um, embedded in your device and stuff, so it's really cool. At this point, we are now going to go back to our Moto tool, and we're going to first ensure that we have a connection. Okay, we're connected. Now we're going to see about fixing the boot logo. Am I sure? Yes. All right, logo fixed. All right, I'll let it start up one time. And then we'll start it up one more time to make sure the boot logo is gone. Now that your phone is restarted one time since um, hitting the f this this fixed boot logo, make sure you unplug your device. Okay. Now at this point, turn off your phone. and turn it back on and there you go the unlocked bootloader has been fixed it's not there anymore you now have root access to your phone so the sky's the limit root access unlock bootloader custom recovery nothing on here that tells you that you've done something crazy to your phone so I hope you enjoyed this video as well as I enjoyed showing you how to use Moto tool and how to use your phone just a little bit better than just what it normally would be out of the box. So, everybody take care.